Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. It is going to be a brand new in the cart or forgot about. I've been doing these every single Monday here on my channel where I chat about new makeup releases. These are essentially my version of a Will I Buy It, which are always inspired by my friend Samantha March here on YouTube. I will have her YouTube link down below for you guys. Also, she did actually end up creating a playlist, a community playlist, where other creators who do these style videos can also add their videos as well. So if you guys like these style videos, I will link the a creator playlist down below, also Samantha's channel. And if you guys are ready to go ahead and get started, let's get into it. open on my phone. That's what I'm going to be reading off. I will have her Instagram link down below. So last week we chatted about this a little bit, but now we have a little bit more information and the full color scheme on the brand new Jelly Much Shadows from ColourPop. So these are actually available now and they are going to be $8 each and there is eight different shades and all of the shades look really, really pretty. The one that I think is the prettiest is Bungalow. Also, I think the origami shade, like the golden one, one is so pretty as well. So what uh, Trend Mood has on here is that they are packed with light reflecting 3D pearls for an intensely saturated look with chrome, duochrome, and holographic finishes. Get the look of a wet shadow application without bringing out the brush and spray. This is 50% water based formula that saturates pigmentation for the intense color on application. Non creasing, transfer proof, and it is in the eight shades. So it sounds really cool. It seems like it's like a putty like gel like formula which I think is really intense and really cool I think that these would be fun to try out so I might get a couple of them to review for you guys let me know what colors you think I should get because I haven't purchased them yet but I'm thinking maybe one of the golds and then the blue one for sure so the next item I want to talk about is a sneak peek from Farsali and it looks like they are coming out with a brand new elixir. It says that this is going to be coming soon and it's just kind of like a sneak peek. So there is a milky texture to this one it looks like. If you guys don't know, the Unicorn Essence is one of my absolute favorite primers that I own. I also really enjoy their Rose Gold Elixir. So I'm excited to see them come out with a new one. I love the blue bottle on this. I think it's so sleek looking. So we don't really have much information but I'm assuming this is probably going to be like a really hydrating if it has like a milky base a really hydrating product and I'll definitely be looking forward to trying it out I am like I said a huge fan of their products I think that they work really really well and they work really well with your makeup application so I'll be curious to see about this one we have a brand new highlighter from Ofer Cosmetics. This is going to be in collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. It will be available on August 21st. So this is going to be the Space Baby Highlight. So from the photo that I've seen, it kind of looks like it's going to have a blue kind of purpley tint to it. It's going to be kind of more of a holographic, duochrome type of look. This isn't the highlight that I typically reach for. I absolutely adore the formula of Ofer's highlights, but I feel like this is one that I probably won't necessarily be needing in my collection. I'm not always into those super like iridescent type of highlights. I prefer something a little bit more wearable. I do have these sort of highlights in my collection but I definitely don't reach for them all the time and they're definitely something that I feel like I have to be in a certain mood or kind of going with a certain look to do. So I don't think I'm going to be needing this one. I believe high their highlights are in the $21 range, $25 range, something like that. But let me know down below if you guys are planning on getting this one or if you guys love Nick tutorial. It's kind of cool to see her collaborating with Ofra again. I've enjoyed her other one. I have the um, Which one was that the Everglow highlight and I really really like that one So it's fun to see her collaborating with them again The next thing I want to talk about is from Glam Glow and this is going to be a brand new liquid charcoal clarifying oil Which I think is really cool. So it's gonna be a charcoal oil So it says in here that it has vitamin C two types of charcoal It also has salionic acid and it's going to transform to black to clear to smooth and protect your skin. You can use it on as a treatment or as a mask. It's going to be $54. So I think it's a cool idea um, that they are kind of coming out with a few more items other than masks. And I think it's a cool idea. It sounds really nice. Like it's going to help kind of detoxify your skin. But also it's a dropper, which is cool because normally charcoal products are masks, at least what I've tried. So I think the concept is really cool. $54 is a lot of money though for this product. I think Glam Girls products are really good. I love their Super Mud. It's one of my favorites 
ever. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get this one right away. I might see if I can't get like a deluxe sample or something. I know a lot of times they are point perks from a Sephora where you can get like their little masks and stuff. So I might see if this goes down to like a deluxe one and try it out that way just to see what I think. But I think this is a cool and innovative idea. NYX has officially released their Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. I know we touched on it a while back, but it is actually released now. So it's going to be $14.99 and it has 45 different shades. It's going to be a matte foundation that is full coverage, waterproof, and lightweight. So I actually want to try this out. A few of you guys would ask were asking me if I would review it. So I am wanting to try it out and review it here on my channel for you guys. I'm always into finding new foundations, especially drugstore foundations. That always has me so excited. I actually really enjoy the NYX, what is that, the dropper one that they have? The, and I can't think of what it's called, the full coverage drops or something like that. I really like that one from NYX. So I'm curious to try this out. I love the fact that they have a really nice shade range on this. I need to put together my Ulta order because I do want to purchase this. I also want to get a few things from the Tutti Frutti collection. So I need to go ahead and place my Ulta order. Maybe I'll do it later today. BH Cosmetics is expanding their loose glitters. So we have six new loose glitters. These are going to be $7 each and they look really pretty, but loose glitters is one of, the, one of those things that I feel like it doesn't really have to be a really good formula if that makes sense like I know you can buy them on Amazon and at different places where you can just get like whole sets of glitter for really inexpensive and I feel like that's what I opt for I have a large glitter collection and loose glitters aren't something that I really reach for all too often so these definitely aren't something that I need in my collection because like I said I'm probably not going to spend $7 for one glitter because I feel like you can get them really, really affordable on Amazon and a few other places. And I feel like there's not really much, I don't know, at least for me, I feel like there's not really much difference in the glitters. Like you're going to apply glitter glue. So I don't know if the formula really matters too much necessarily, but let me know what you guys think down below. Are you excited about these or do you have a go-to glitter that you guys like? Maybe I've just tried the wrong ones. I don't know. I was really excited about this next one. So we have a sneak peek of the blush book that's going to be coming out from Tarte. So they do these every single holiday season where they have their blush books. And typically they are a very, very large style, round style blush book. Well, we get a sneak peek from Trend Mood that this year it's actually gonna be more of a palette style. So it looks like it's going to be in a notebook style of packaging, which is really, really cool. So it's going to have the 10 different blushes in it, but it's going to be a book, which I am way more opted to probably get this one over the big old palette. I feel like normally with like those rounder large packaging, like the odd shaped packaging, they're just something that I don't reach for because I don't really have space to store them. And I just think that they just don't fit very well in my drawers or anything. But I like the idea of this being an actual book. I think I would be more opted to try that. I love the Amazonian clay blushes. They are some of my favorite blushes. And I've always wanted to get a blush book, but it always held me back because of the packaging. So I don't know, this packaging it looks really cute to me and I, I'm kind of into it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. So Morphe is releasing a bunch of new brow products. I was wondering when they were going to go ahead and release some of these. So they have brow pencils, pomades, and it also looks like brow highlighters as well as a brow gel. So it says on Trend New that it's going to be $6 for the brow cream, $5 for the brow pencil, and then $6 for the setting gel. So I feel like $5 for a brow pencil is a really, really good price. I feel like that's even cheaper than some drugstore brow products. So they come in $7 different shades. I'm definitely wanting to try these out, especially the brow pencil. I don't know about the pomade. I would want to try it, but I feel like I'm pretty content with the pomades that I have in my collection, but I definitely want to try out the brow pencil. I'm not sure when these are coming into Ulta, but I probably will wait for Ulta to have them, but I think it's cool too that they have the kit where you can get all of the items. I love the fact that Morphe is expanding, so they're now going to have brow products. I feel like the next thing they need is a foundation. We need concealers. 
probably going to be coming soon because I feel like they've been coming out with everything recently. The last thing I want to talk about this week is from the Balm and they have some brand new palettes. So these are going to be the Alternative Rock palettes. So we have two different ones and these are actually a face palette that has eyeshadows in it as well. So you have a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight and then six different eyeshadows in there. So I think it's cool to have everything in one palette. I absolutely love their bronzers, blushes, and highlights. I also enjoy their eyeshadows as well. So this is definitely something that caught my attention. I think that it's really cool to have everything kind of all in one like this. And I think both of the palettes look really pretty. The one that I'm gravitating more towards is the Volume 2. So this one has the more golden highlight and then it also has those really pretty shimmer shades. The gold one looks absolutely gorgeous. And then we have the Volume 1 that has more of an icy highlight. That one has more of like a rose gold kind of vibe. I don't know, I think that these are definitely really cool palettes and I have my eye on them for sure. I'm not sure if I'll get them right away or I'll wait to hear reviews, but they definitely are really cool. But after that, that is going to do it for this week's In the Cart or Forgot About. Let me know down below what products you guys are excited about or what products you guys aren't so excited about. Do not forget to like this video and also do not forget to subscribe before you go and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye friends. <laughs>